No. Okay. Now, when you take the limit, very important point is, if you take limit x tends to 1, x plus 3 upon x plus 5. When you put x is equal to 1, in this case directly, then there will be no problem because of it will be 1 plus 3 upon 1 plus 4 equal to 4 by 6. Okay, this is not problem. But when you take x tends to 1, for example, x square minus 1 upon x minus 1. And when you take direct the value of x, then it will be 0 by 0. This is known as indeterminate form. Indeterminate form. And for the limit, it must be 0 by 0. Then we will apply the concept of the limit. Okay. Now, when you take RHL, RHL means x is equal to 1 plus h for limit h tends to 0. So that when you put limit h tends to 0, then it will be 1 plus h whole square minus 1 upon 1 plus h minus 1. This is RHL. When you put x is equal to 1 minus h, then it will be limit h tends to 0, so that it will be equal to 1 minus h whole square minus 1 upon 1 minus h minus 1. Now, if this limit exists, then it must be LHL is equal to RHL. Okay? Now, we solve limit h tends to 0. 1 plus h square plus 2h minus 1 equal to 1, 1 cancel, 1, 1 cancel, h, h, h plus 2 divided by h, it will be equal to 0 plus 2 equal to 2. Now for this condition, limit h tends to 0, 1 plus h square minus 2h minus 1 upon me minus h. This can say this can be. When you take limit h tends to 0, h, h minus 2 divided by minus h. This can say this can say it will be also 2 minus h equal to 2. So that here uh, RHL is also 2 and this is LHL is also 2. It means LHL is equal to RHL is equal to what value? Limit, sorry, 2. So that limit x tends to 1, x square minus 1 by x minus 1 equal to 2. Got it? Yes. Okay. Now, and this is the first question so that we have to write it. Note down. Just Below part, zero by zero part. This is known as zero by zero form. This is very important concept. When limit exists, then it must be zero by zero form. Zero by zero form.
Write down one point no. Note. When we solve the question of limit, question of limit, then we have to remove. Denominator part, right on denominator part, which it makes zero. zero. Then problem can be solved because of you know that if you take px by qx, in which qx is not equal to zero. Now, if you take previous question, limit x tends to 1, x square minus divided by x minus 1, so that you can write this question, limit x tends to 1, x square minus 1 can be written by x minus 1 into x plus 1, divided by x minus 1. This cancel, this cancel because of it makes zero. So that it will be limit x tends to one of x plus one is equal to one plus one is equal to, got it? Yeah. Okay. Write down the second part of no. If in the question, in the options, in the options, all parts are given finite value. Finite value. Okay. Then it means limit exists or not. Tell me. It means limit just. limit exists. Okay. This is just trick the solution. Limit exists. So not necessary to check. LHS and RHS. Okay. LHS and RHS. But last option D is given. Does not exist. Does not exist. Then it can be changed. It can be checked. It can be checked that the limit exists or not. That analysis is. Equal or not? This part. Got it? Yeah. It is not necessary to solve the question for the LHS and RHS because it takes time. But in the options, last option, it, it, it is given that does not exist. It means it may be not confirmed. It may be limit does not exist. Then you have to check the LHS and RHS. Got it? 
take an example limit x tends to 0 e raised to power 1 by x plus 1 upon e raised to power 1 by x minus 1 options are 0 1 2 and does not exist does, does not exist okay 0 1 2 and does not exist it means it may be not confirmed it may be that limit may exist or does not exist okay so that you can take lhl lhl means x is equal to 0 minus x or 0 plus x 0 minus x okay and rhl x is equal to 0 plus h, where limit h tends to 0. So, if you have any problem till this point? No. Now, you have to solve both parts. I am solving this. Limit h tends to 0. Okay. e raised to power 1 by 0 minus h plus 1 upon e raised to power 1 upon 0 minus h minus 1. Any problem? Mm -hmm. Now, limit h tends to 0 e raised to power minus 1 by h plus 1 by e raised to power minus 1 by h plus 1. Okay. You know that x inverse equal to 1 by x. Right? You know? So that here you can write limit h tends to 0, this part, 1 upon e raised to power 1 by h plus 1 upon 1 by e raised to power 1 by h minus 1. One, one minute, one minute. This is minus 1. This is minus 1. Any problem? No, sir. No. Now, if you take x tends to 0, it means 1 by x tends to infinity. So that e raised to power 1 by h is equal to e raised to power infinity is equal to infinity. It means 1 by e raised to power 1 by h is equal to 1 by infinity is equal to 0. Any problem? No. no. So that here you can write. 0 plus 1 divided by 0 minus 1, it will be equal to minus 1. Got it? Now, for RHL, limit h tends to 0, e raised to power 1 by 0 plus h plus 1 by e raised to power 1 by 0 plus h minus 1 equal to limit h tends to 0 e raised to power 1 by h plus 1 by e raised to power 1 by h minus 1. Okay. In this case, divide by e raised to power 1 by h to numerator and denominator both. Okay. It means limit h tends to 0, 1 plus 1 by e raised to power 1 by h upon 1 minus 1 by e raised to power 1 by h. Okay. Same condition. 1 plus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Here it is 1. Is LHL is equal to RHL? No. LHL is not equal to RHL. So that limit does not exist and option D will be correct. Okay. Any problem? No. Light on first. If any doubt, any question, you can ask me.
number. Okay. Now, more questions on the limit in which limit will be exist. Okay, you have not to check the LHN is equal to RHN. We have to solve the questions. Okay, first method. To you, the concept x square minus a square xq minus a. Okay. What is the formula of x square minus a square x minus a into x plus a? Second is x minus a into x square plus a square plus ax. Okay. Now. Write down two more questions and tell me what is the answer. Limit x tends to one, x q minus one by x minus one. Plus limit x tends to two, x square minus four by x minus two. Third, limit x tends to three, x q minus 27 by x square minus 9. Tell me. This is known as factorization method. Have you solved question number of first? No. Why? Sure. Because yeah, in this this part, question number one, this part. X Q minus one means you have to use this formula. X Q minus one. Limit X change to one. It will be according to the formula X minus one into x square plus one plus x by x minus one. Any problem? No. No. So that you can cancel x minus one, x minus one. Now put one plus one plus one is equal to three. Okay. Now tell me second question.
Four. Okay. Four. Very good. Third. Nine by two. Nine by two. Okay. Uh, figure nine. Nine plus. Nine plus nine eighteen. Eighteen plus nine twenty seven. Twenty seven by six. Nine by two. Very good. Okay. Now next question. Limit x tends to two x q minus x square plus four by x raised to power four minus eight x square plus sixteen. First, you try this question. If unable to solve, then I will solve it. You know that the question of the limit is will really only and only when it will be zero by zero form. And when you see that you put direct x is equal to two, then it will be zero by zero. Yes or no? If you yes. put okay, so that. It means x minus two is the factor of numerator and denominator both. Where x minus two? Where? Because of x tends to two, x tends to two. It means if you put x is equal to two, it means x minus two is the factor. This is the tenth concept. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Mm. Now, you have to solve this part by division, long division method. X minus two into x q minus the x squared plus four. X squared, you know, long division method. Yeah. Okay. So that plus minus, it means minus x squared plus four. Again, minus x. Minus x squared plus two x minus plus minus two x plus two. It means minus two. So that you can take x minus two into x squared minus x minus two. Now you see that this part it is the square perfect square of x square minus four whole square. Okay, so that again, x minus two into when you split by the middle term, this part it will be x minus two into x plus one. Now, 
when you take this part, it will be equal to x minus 2 whole square into x plus 2 whole square. So can tell me any problem up to this point? No. No. Now you can cancel which part? x minus 2 whole square. So that it will be x plus 1 upon x plus 2 whole square. Now you can put x is equal to 2. It means 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 whole square. So that it will be equal to 3 by 2 plus 2, 4 a square equal to 3 by 16. Any problem? Yes. Write down first. Okay. Now, solve your question. Limit x tends to 1 by 2. 8x cube minus 1 upon 16x raised to power 4 minus 1. Options one by two, one by four, three by four, one by three.
you have to use the formula in the numerator aq minus bq and in denominator a square minus b square. One by two. One by two. And uh, this answer, I think, incorrect. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm solving this question. First of all, 8x cube means 2x whole cube minus 1 cube divided by 2x raised to uh, 4x square raised to power 4, sorry, square minus 1. Now, in the denominator, a cube minus b cube, 2x minus 1, a minus b into a square plus b square plus a b means 2x divided by. In the denominator, it will be 4x square minus 1 into 4x square plus 1. Any problem? No. Again, 2x minus 1 into 4x square plus 2x plus 1 divided by, again, 2x minus 1 into 2x plus 1 into 4x squared plus 1. Now cancel 2x minus 1. Now put x is equal to 1 by 2. 4 into 1 by 4 plus 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 <coughs> into 4 into 1 by 4 plus 1. It means this cancel, this cancel, this cancel, this cancel. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 divided by this. 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. It means 4. It will be even. Any problem? No. Right on. After that, you have to solve this question. And options are same. Um.
okay first of all you will take calcium it means 2x minus 2 plus 1 minus x square divided by 1 minus x into 1 plus x into x minus 1. Any problem? No. Limit x tends to 1 minus x square plus 2x minus 1 divided by 1 minus x into x minus 1 into 1 plus x. Take negative sign or you can multiply this part. Minus x square plus 2x minus 1 divided by if you multiply this part it will be x minus 1 minus x square plus x it means minus x square plus 2x minus 1 into 1 by 1 plus x any problem no sir so that you can cancel this part now 1 by 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the third answer. Okay. Got it? So that this is the basic part of the limit in which we have discussed the how to find LHS and RHS and how can solve any problem by the factorization method. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Write down fast.